it's your girl Raquel coming to you live with another DIY for you at home folks. Alright, so you guys seen that I did the DIY hair cap. I'm really actually loving my hair. No lie, today it's up in a hair tie and a hair bun, but it looks amazing. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about bedazzling shoes. So what I'm going to do, because my niece's quinceanera is coming up, it's a, a sweet 15. It's your coming of age, like kind of like a, debu a debutante bob, but real Catholic. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice on these two pairs of shoes for my girls. Today I'm going, I watched a lot of YouTube videos to see if I could pull this off. So I went and got some awesome lime green for their laces. Well, for one of the laces. The baby is not getting laces. Um, I went out and I saw that all of these girls, so there's a lot of different types of E6000. There's jewelry E6000, there's wood E6000. This one is um, I the one I got for clothing and all that good stuff. So we'll see how awesome it is. I also went out and got this nice tube of pink crystals and this jumbo thing of huge silver gemstones. It, it's it's one pound of stones. And then I bought a little bit of pearls just to cut it up a notch. And of course some rainbow. Um, some These were 97 cents at Walmart. Let's be honest guys, I'm doing this on a budget. I don't like to practice on anything expensive unless I'm really good at it. So I'm excited. I'm going to prep these shoes and then we'll get started. All right guys, so here's a continuation of my blinging up shoes, my first time doing it. So I completed the first shoe, which not too bad. I think I did a pretty good job for it being my first time. I went with an easy heart, two heart um, decoration. And then I did start, like, this is where I'm going to come in. I did the two hearts with my daughter's name, Vivian. And now we're going to go in and start blinging it up and filling out the shoe. So for me, I'm going to show you guys the process. Now, I was supposed to get this in clear. I got it in white. Please, please, please learn from my mistake. Get it in clear. I mean, it works just as good, but... For it to be in white, it, it truly is not that appealing. You can't really see it, but still, it's white and it bothers me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light coat of glue on. Put my cap back on because we don't want it to grow uh, dry out. Now, I have some, a, a plate of beads or bling and I don't have a, a bling tool yet so what I've been using is an old pair of tweezers that I no longer use and what I do is just simply apply and go from there and I have different size um, crystals guys I'm doing them in different sizing so you guys will notice that there's different sizings in them I don't own any of the sounds that you hear in the background, I'm sorry. Now all I'm doing is applying the crystals to the glue that I have laid down. Um, I'm in the little filler areas where I see like they could use them. I'm just going to add like little pink rhinestones. 
just so that everything is filled in. So that's what I'm doing is I'm applying the jewels now. I'm trying to put it in not so much as a particular order as just trying to make it look cute. Oh, I just trying to make it look cute. Now I'm going to finish this and then I will fast forward and you guys can see the finished product. Fast forward a little bit and I have completed my first ever trying to DIY blinged out shoes. Actually, let me put them in the right order so you guys could see them. So I tried to do the two hearts. It's kind of hard to tell. Those are the two hearts and then my daughter's name is Vivian. So I put Vivian in cursive. So these are her shoes that I finished and completed. I feel like they're not that bad for it being my first time DIYing these. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it. So I tried it. We'll see how my second pair go for my middle daughter. I'm going to do a DIY for her too. So we'll see how the second pair of blinged out shoes goes. Um, I'm going to go and get some clear E6000 glue to make sure that it has a cleaner finish. I used the white glue this time, but it, you can't really tell. Um, so I'm okay with that. Um, I know what to avoid for next time, so I'm really excited about. Thanks guys for tuning in.